Here we go, CCIEOrDie.com, and welcome back. Going to change things up a bit with an OSPF lab this time involving a virtual link, redistribution, and a GRE tunnel towards the end of the lab. You can download the lab from CCIEOrDie.com from this link right here or from the download right here. This lab is a little bit more difficult than the preceding labs, so it might be a good idea to do it on your own first time with the complete task list available at CCIEOrDie.com before following along with the video. At any rate, on to the lab. We'll begin with R1 setting up OSPF, config T router OSPF 1 network 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0.0 area 0, the easy way. Move on to R2, config T router OSPF 1 network 192.168.12.0 for connection to router 1 255 0.0.0.255 .0 .0 .0 area 0 network 192.168.23.0 for connection to router 3 0.0.0.255 0 .0 area 23 network 2.2.2.0.0.0.255 in area 23 as well. Great. On to R3. Config T router OSPF 1 network 192.168.23.0.0.0.255 0.0.0.255 area 23 and now the busted network network 192.168.34.0.0.0.0.255 area 34 will include the loopback 3.3.3.0.0.0.255 also in the busted network area 34 Zero, and there it is. We'll go to R1, do show IP route to verify that we can't get to the three network, and we can't. We've built the network busted, so now we're going to fix it with a virtual link. Area 23, virtual link 3.3.3.3. We know that with virtual links, we need to use the router ID on router 3. Let's do show IP OSPF data to verify the router ID of R2. And there it is, 2.2.2.2. And area 23, virtual link, 2.2.2.2. Give that a chance to cook. Go over to R1. Do show IP route. Uh, keep an eye on R2 for the virtual link to come up. And there it is. We see it right there. Go back to R1 and verify again. Uh, it's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. There it is. Do ping 3.3.3.3. Oops. Do ping 3.3.3.3. Good. Now let's get R4 into the game. Router EIGRP34 network 192.168.34.0. No auto. Great. R4 finally. Config T router. EIGRP, EIGRP 34, EIGRP 34, network, the whole smash 0, .0, .0, 0, 0.0.0, no auto, and there's our adjacency. Now we need to perform mutual redistribution on R3, 
since we're at EIGRP, we'll redistribute OSPF into EIGRP, redist OSPF1. Since we're going into EIGRP, we need to use some metrics. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1500 for the MTU and router OSPF1. Redistrib EIGRP 34 with subnets. We want to make sure we include the subnets. We'll go back to R1. Do show IP route. And there's four. Do ping 4.4.4.4. Great. Verify the routing table over an R4. Do show IP route. And we have the external routes to 1. Do ping 1.1.1.1. Excellent. Go back to R2, and we're going to bust our busted network by getting rid of the, the virtual link. No area 23 virtual link 3.3.3.3 and we want to get rid of it on R3 as well router OSPF 1 no area 23 virtual link 2.2.2.2 do show run section OSPF before we build the tunnel, just to make sure it's completely gone, do show run section OSPF. Do show run section OSPF. And it's gone. So now we're going to build a tunnel to provide us the same functionality that the virtual link did. Interface ton zero. IP address 99.99.99.2.255.255.255.0 Tunnel source is going to be 192.168.23.2 whereas the tunnel destination is going to be 192.168.23.3 at R3 We'll add the, o, the OSPF networking process in IP OSPF 1 area 34 to support the link R3 interface ton 0 IP address 99.99.99.3.255.255.255. Two five five dot zero. Tunnel source is going to be one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty three dot three. The tunnel destination is going to be one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty three dot two. And we'll include IP OSPF IP OSPF one area thirty four. Great. Look for our adjacency to come up. Go to R1, do show IP route, and there it is. You can see it in the background there. R1 has to catch up a little bit. Not yet. Almost. And there it is. Do ping. 4.4.4.4. Great. Go to R4. Do ping 1.1.1.1. Excellent. So we've succeeded in replacing the virtual link with a GRE tunnel instead. That would be more of a long-term fix than a virtual link, which is considered a temporary band-aid.